This bakery was just called out on TikTok for selling repackaged Dunkin' Donuts as vegan gluten-free donuts for a marked up price. And it's slowly just turning into another pink sauce or pickle girl saga. But this whole story starts off with a small business owner by the name of Michelle Siriani, who owns a small business by the name of the Savory Fig. She's been accused of selling vegan and gluten-free donuts that were absolutely not vegan nor gluten-free and straight up from Dunkin' Donuts. And I do want to thank Natalia Slater for breaking this on TikTok or else I wouldn't have been aware of this. Vegan donuts. Nutgate 2024, strap in because this happened. But the company that called them out goes by the name of Cindy Snacks and they posted this on Instagram. So first thing you see is that's not really a good looking donut. But then if you notice the sprinkles, you have the Dunkin' Donuts colors and the D's. Fascinating. <laughs> And that's a whole nother can of worms we're gonna get into as the post reads on February 23rd, the owner of Savory Fig dropped off the baked goods we ordered from her, including her donuts. In the middle of the boxes, there was a donut pictured on the first slide. I, John, immediately became concerned as to why this one donut was decorated differently than all the others and in such a strikingly similar way to a recognizable chain. I pulled all the items delivered out on our racks and stored them in the back out of precaution until I confirmed what was or what wasn't happening here. As seen in the screenshots and slides, too, I raised my concerns respectfully, hoping a simple explanation with confirming evidence would clear this up. And here he writes, hey, I in no mean mean to insult you or question your products, but this donut in the box with the strawberry frosting, these are definitely little D sprinkles. One's Dunkin' Donuts uses, even the same colors as the Dunkin' logo. If these are Dunkin' Donuts, the ingredients could kill somebody as we have so many people with severe dairy allergies that shop here. I'm concerned with the donuts this week and I'm nervous to pull them out. I will keep this conversation between us, but please tell me the truth. I don't want to kill anyone with a severe allergy. Okay, very fair. Good on that business owner for actually looking out for his customers. So what did she reply? These are definitely not Dunkin' Donuts. If you don't want to put them out, don't. But they are not Dunkin' Donuts. I don't mean to insult you, and I hope I didn't, but you have to understand the concern. Can you show me the sprinkle container you have that had the Ds? I just don't understand why that would be something you would have or put on one donut. I could send you a picture later. I made a bunch of donuts for someone's birthday. Okay, I'm really not trying to insult you, and I really don't believe you would do that. I'm just really off put by these sprinkles, as I've seen these at Dunkin' before. I would never do that. I don't think you would. It was just a weird thing to see, and I felt it's my responsibility as a business owner to ask. I appreciate you for being willing to calm my nerves by sharing the picture of them. I can't right now. I'm not home. If you don't want to put them out, I get it, but I would never do that. The day's over now, so no worries. If you can tomorrow before we open, that would make me feel a lot better about this. Thanks, Michelle. Okay, she then sends an Amazon link with some letter sprinkles with the message, Hi John, I'm still out in Montauk visiting my boyfriend. I won't be back until this afternoon. These are the sprinkles that I bought for the kid's birthday party. Thank you for the picture, but this doesn't quell my fears. Do you happen to have a picture of the custom order? I'm sorry for asking, but I'm not seeing orange or pink D's in that container. I'm very concerned. Uh, and apparently uh, she didn't reply after that, so... um. Take that as you will. But continuing with the post from Cindy Snacks, uh, we, Cindy and I, were not given satisfactory answers nor evidence, and in that moment, knew deep down how bad this was. Still trying to hold out hope that our trusted fellow vegan small business wasn't doing something so horrific. We scored the internet for possible sprinkles dupes that would make it make sense. We even ordered the sprinkles she claimed that were the ones used. As you can see in slide three, not only are these sprinkles not labeled vegan or even list the ingredients on the Amazon thing, they don't even match the ones on the donut. Yeah, here's the comparison. So, uh, <laughs> something's not adding up here. It may seem like the person's lying, but it gets so much worse. We then ordered an at-home gluten test trusted and used by gluten-sensitive and allergic individuals. These test results seen in slide four prove to us that at the very least, this donut, and most likely all of her donuts, contain substantial amounts of gluten. We can only assume, given this recognizable logo design, where these donuts really came from, and what what other ingredients they might contain. We've cut all personal and business ties with this person effective immediately. We are mortified that we provided any of her products to our customers and to our own family. We trusted a well-known, highly recommended vegan and gluten-free baker who's claimed to be working as a pastry chef for over 15 years. Well, that doesn't look good at all. If someone had celiac disease and ate that donut, that could have been the last thing they ever did. And I'm trying to understand the upside with this because it's not like you can squeeze out a whole lot of profits by switching out 
out vegan donuts with store-bought Dunkin' Donuts. We're talking like tens of dollars of profit here if she successfully pulled this off, but at what risk? Like, it just doesn't make sense. If these allegations are real, this is probably one of the dumbest scammers I've seen in a very long time. Because not only is it like this petty scam, it's this major food and health violation. Just marketing Dunkin' Donuts as your own donuts, but they're also vegan and gluten-free when apparently they're not. That's just a new level of stupidity. But I mean, hey, it's fascinating to see what unfolds on the internet every day. But the post continues by saying there's a certain mutual trust and respect in the vegan community, especially small businesses have amongst ourselves. We might all live differently, but we all have the same deep core values that consuming animal products is morally, ethically, and ecologically wrong. We are enraged that this trust and respect was broken and that we were unknowingly put in a position to perpetuate this betrayal. We want all of our customers and community to know that we take this betrayal extremely seriously and are looking into legal action. We will update with any proceedings as they come. Most importantly, we want to apologize from the the depths of our soul to anyone who unknowingly consumed these products. This is our nightmare come true, and none of you deserve this level of disgusting perjury. I mean, hey, at least no one had a life-threatening allergic reaction from these, that we know of at least. But they then posted this saying, We have contacted the supervisor at the Division of Food Safety and Inspection from New York Agriculture and Markets. He stated that he will begin an investigation and notify us of the results once it's complete. He also alerted Suffolk County Department of Health. We are waiting to hear back from them about the next step in the process. We're currently looking into several other avenues to ensure accountability is met for the situation. We want to make it clear that we came forward with this information to keep our community of local vegans and those with food allergies safe from the future harm. We've seen our post and story reach all over the country on TikTok and Reddit posts, and while we appreciate the support and concern for how serious this is, we are not interested in being viral. While we have received many requests to do so, we'll not do any interviews or giving any statements locally or otherwise, as we don't feel like this will serve our mission. We want to keep people safe and call out wrongdoings when we see them. We feel confident we've done that as best we could. But then the mother of the business owner from Savory Fig, she spoke out and claimed these allegations were not true. As Patch.com tried to get in contact with the business owner, but instead got in contact with the mother. And she apparently said these allegations are totally untrue when reached by telephone. In addition to that, the bakery's Instagram has reportedly been taken down and the Facebook is apparently still up, but her website is also taken down. But apparently people made a fake Savory Fig Instagram account out were just a bunch of Dunkin' Donuts ads and a picture of Elizabeth Holmes. And then her Facebook is just a bunch of people absolutely dunking on her, pun intended. Here's an example of one of her posts here of, I guess, her donuts. And then the top comment says, looks good. I'll have to stop by my nearest Dunkin' to get one. And then you have all these here, 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 and so many more. At least the internet community is making this entertaining. If you don't want this to happen to you, don't scam people. But the business owner also apparently came out and said that these allegations are not true. But now the supplier, Long Island-based Savory Fig, says the Instagram post is not true. The owner of the business, Michelle Siriani, would not agree to an on-camera interview, but she did say her donuts are in fact vegan and gluten-free. We went to Cindy Snacks to see if they'd speak with us. The Savory Fig did say that the store's Instagram post was not true. But the person behind the counter would not comment. And after we left, this no soliciting sign was placed on the door. Oh, okay. Well, the plot thickens. So for now, I guess we have to wait and see what happens. Hopefully, the original business owner comes out and just grandstands this, like in front of everyone. Like a, she has a full press conference. That would be absolutely amazing. She just comes out of left field with like a story that she had to sneak in one Dunkin' Donut to see if the bakeries that were buying from her do their own quality control. I feel like that's not even that far fetched when you're already sending fake sprinkles that clearly do not match up with the original donuts. But it's definitely safe to say there's some questions that need to be answered here, but at least she's not being sued by a billion dollar company like this influencer is or facing life in prison like this influencer is. So uh, you can check out those videos here and here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.